Okay, so I took a short break from YouTube today because the hatred was starting to affect my mental health again, and I'm trying really hard to hold it together. Um, but one thing I've noticed in some of the comments I'm getting is something that I heard a lot growing up. And that's that some of these people are jealous of me. Now, as a kid, my family never liked me at all. My own family hated me, except for my grandmother. And my grandmother would tell me that they were jealous of me. I never understood what they were jealous of. They, in my eyes, they had everything. They seem to be supportive and loving of each other. While all I had was me, Ma, and my Papa up until he passed away. And when I went home, it was absolute hell. My parents fought all the time. My mom, any night that I was there, she could have died. Like, it was literally... We'd be up at 2 a.m. listening to her being beat and crying and wondering if our mother would even be alive the next morning. That was normal for me for the first 18 years of my life. And so when I looked at my family members from afar and I saw them all you know, happy and together and supportive of each other and loving. And then I'm being told that they're jealous of me. What could they possibly have been jealous of? You know, like it didn't make any sense. And it doesn't make any sense to me now. I don't have anything. I am nothing. Right? I'm not smarter than anybody. I'm not better than anybody at anything. I have literally no family, no friends. I have nothing. And people are jealous of me. And I know that because on my weed videos, I'm getting comments that say things like, well, it must be nice to not have a job and be able to just watch your plants grow all day. And I guess it's nice to be able to not work, but like, for me, it would be nice if I could have a job. It would be nice if I could connect with another human being and actually maintain a career or a relationship. I, I can't have friends. I can't have a lover. I can't work because I can't handle stress at all in any, in the smallest bit of stress. And I, I break down. I actually think I'm autistic with how hard it is for me to handle like changes in schedule. And just unexpected things that happen. I literally start banging my head into the wall or beating myself up. And you can't work in a regular 9-to-5 job if you have that kind of problem. It doesn't work out. You know, I wind up freaking out over every little thing. And then I can't make friends with my co-workers to have any support from them because I don't know how to do that. And then, like, my therapist tells me not to even try to worry about getting a job at this point because I'm not able to. It's just flat out. There's no other way to say it. Even my doctors are telling me that it's in my best interest that I not even try to get a regular job. But then here on YouTube, people will come to me in masses telling me that I need to just get a job and telling me that they hate me 
because I'm leeching off of the system, because I don't work, because I have time to watch a plant grow. These people are jealous of me for a life that they don't fully understand. All they see is that I'm not working and they're thinking, oh boy, if I could, if I didn't work, what would I be doing? She's wasting her time. She's not, you know, if I didn't work, I would be out doing this and this and this, but she's just sitting around watching a plant grow. She's just worthless. That's because you're normal and healthy and able to maintain relationships and able to go out and do healthy activities without freaking out. I'm not. That's what the difference is. And I don't know how to explain it any further than that. Like, it's not that I don't want to. I would love to be able to hold a job. But it really does take being able to connect with other people on some sort of level. It's, it's hard to work with other people when you can't connect with them, when you feel hatred, when you feel resentment and anger coming from them. And that's how I get. I, I, I legitimately feel like everybody hates me and wants me hurt and wants me gone. Imagine trying to work with somebody and you ask them to do something for you and they, they flip out because they think you're attacking them. Unfortunately, that's me. And part of me rationally is aware that I'm you're not attacking me, you're just asking me to go and get the garbage bags. But this other part of me goes completely irrational and, and and freaks out. I do try. I wrote a book thinking that that would help a little bit with some income and I tried to start gaming here on YouTube so I could eventually have an income. But then people tell me, well, writing and gaming isn't a job. It's a hobby. You need a job. And I guess that's true, but most good jobs were hobbies before they became good paying. I mean, skateboarders, musicians, actors, those are just hobbies. But you're not telling Leonardo DiCaprio to get a real job. I know that he's an actor that's a lot better than me, but he's not working at McDonald's, right? What he does is his hobby. I'm getting off track. You know, I think some of the problem is a cult of work. I don't know if you've ever heard of the cult of work. It's essentially a mindset that's been instilled in us for a long, long time, decades, to the point that it is almost cult-like. And it's the idea that if you work hard enough, you can have what your neighbor has. But you're not, if you're not, you know, you have to work for it. You have to put it in. You have to kill yourself working if you really want it and if you're not if you're not working to the bone you know or if you're not able to reach your goal because your neighbor keeps doing better well then that's you it's not because the system is broken it's because you're broken and lazy and just not trying hard enough. My YouTube used to be a place of support. And it's now being overrun with hatred. With people who 
don't understand my situation and don't care to understand my situation and just want me gone or just see somebody who's weak that they can manipulate mentally and hurt. And I hate the fact that my own family member is a part of the, that group. But it doesn't surprise me. Because they've been making fun of my mental illnesses my whole life. Instead of helping me to get support and get help for them. When it comes to having mental health issues, it's not always black and white. When you look at me and you think that I should be fine working at McDonald's and I'm just lazy, you're not seeing what it's like when I have a job. When I'm so stressed out that I'm waking up crying, worried about getting to work on time, and then spending the whole shift stressed out and crying and aggravated and freaking out. <laughs> Even before the murder, I was not capable of holding a job I tried with many jobs. It never ended well because I'm not a people person. I don't know. This got a little bit off track of what I was going to go for. Uh, I'm going to try to put in an episode of Pokemon tonight. But because of the hate that I know is going to come from this video, I'll probably be avoiding YouTube for most of the day tomorrow. Um, I binge-watched WandaVision today, and I'm downloading a couple of movies to watch to get me through tomorrow. I'm thinking of um, John Carpenter's The Thing. I've never seen it, so that might help. 